Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and this is the second screencast on uh, learning to develop for the Pebble smartwatch. If you have not watched the first screencast then I highly recommend that you do so in which I introduce you to the Pebble watch and uh, the way it functions. So this so screencast will more focus on the how you can get started with the development for the Pebble watch and uh, just printing out a hello world message basically. So if you go to developer.getpebble.com you will find all the instructions you need to download uh, the framework and download the app. Uh, I did find that if you download the old app which is this one um, then it doesn't have the developer mode option in the settings which is of course required if you want to do any sort of Pebble development. So this option to get the beta is uh, the one that I use. I just fill out the form and they will send you the uh, beta app in your, uh, uh, you can download it from Dropbox or anything. They will send you a link and then you can sync it with the uh, on your phone or you can install it on the phone using uh, you know, using iTunes. So let me actually show you that beta app. So here's the beta app, which is Pebble Dev, you can see. And basically, um, it, it has the developer mode option. So if I, if I want to see that option, which will allow me to uh, basically develop for the Pebble. Let me see, here we go. So here we go, developer mode option, the first one. Uh, you have to enable it so that, you know, you can uh, download it. All right. I mean, you can install because of that. Now, there are different ways of developing for the Pebble app. Uh, you can run your own Python server, uh, and then you can deploy your app. What I will show and I will be doing is the, the the most the quickest way to start with Pebble development, and I'll be using Cloud Pebble, which means that you don't have to download anything. You just write your application. On, on this basically on this editor which is a, a cloud editor on uh, you know on the internet basically it's, it will compile on the cloud and it will install your app on the cloud all right let me fix that here we go so you just go to cloud pebble you can make an account um let me see let's go to if i go to compilation uh, i just provided it with my phone ip which I can get from the cloud, I mean Pebble uh, app, and then you can run build and then install the app, and it, it will, it, you know, it will automatically just uh, sync or install the app for on your on your device over here. Uh, this is the boiler uh, plate basically code that comes with. This is uh, kind of all, all that like a getting started kind of like a template when you create uh, when you start creating an application name uh, the name of the app. I gave it the hello underscore world. So if I want to run this, I'll just go to compilation and I'll say install and run. Now keeping in mind that the developer option in the uh, you know in the settings for the Pebble uh, Pebble Dev app is is turned on. Let me show it to you again because this is very important. Here we go. So these are your settings. And if you go to the Pebble Dev, which is the Beta 7 or something, you have to fill out a form to get this particular app on your phone. And the developer mode, the first one, has to be turned on or else you won't be able to deploy on the, on the devices. You won't be able to do anything. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, see the Pebble Watch over here. It's displaying uh, a watch face. So if I run it right now, install and run. So now it's going to deploy the from the cloud to the device and it's going to vibrate i'm not sure if you're going to notice but it's going to vibrate and install it on the device okay um it usually doesn't take that much time i'm not sure why it's taking that much time um but usually it does not take that much time let me go ahead and start the app also Yeah, I'm not sure why it's what's having trouble. Ah, it ran and we didn't see that. Okay. So here here is the 
on the uh, you know you can see that now but let me go ahead and restart that I mean not restart it but go to the back screen so here's the back screen okay the watch face and I can uh, I can deploy the app again now so you'll see that in action hopefully it will work this time so here we go so hello world and you can see that uh, nothing really displays on on the screen okay so now it's up to us to write some code to display something on the screen. So the the basic the, the root element is of course always the the, the window in, and in in the window just like an iPhone development you will display all the information that you have. Now you can have different kind of layers and one of them is text layer. So we can go ahead and create that. We can say static text layer and we will name the layer as hello layer it's going to display a hello world message okay we are going to get the root layer and call it the window layer Oop. window uh, underscore get underscore root one of the other things that you will notice of course if you are using the cloud pebble is that you get this uh, really nice intelligence it's pretty cool right and to be really honest I think this is the future of uh, basically development that you don't really have to download any tools you are just going to log into your cloud account and uh, you know just going to start developing of course the te technology has to be a little bit more mature uh, but it's a step in the right direction so we get the bounds of the screen or of the of the windows and it will take a layer in this case we are just going to pass in our window layer okay uh, and now we are going to start creating our the text layer uh, it has already been de declared over here as a text layer hello layer and then we can say text layer create and now we have to pass in the g rectangle and in the g rectangle we have to pass in different values like uh, origin which will will say zero comma seventy two and let's go ahead and say this is about size size will of course depend on the bounds so I'm just going to say bounds dot size dot width comma twenty I think we have this one extra okay and you can see that it will detect everything for you okay so we created the uh, the hello layer okay now we have to just set some text to it so text uh, layer set and you can have this second uh, text it will take in the text layer which in this case is hello layer and oops and over here we can say I don't know hello world not sure why this is being highlighted now all right and in the, uh, finally we are going to add this so we're going to say layer dot add uh, not dot but layer dot add child and it will take a layer as a parent and layer as a child so layer as a parent means it's going to take a uh, window layer and for over here we are going to take the hello layer but hello layer is a text layer not really a layer so we can always do a layer conversion over here okay so I've already saved this uh, and in when the window unloads let's make sure to remove the layer so layer underscore and then destroy the text layer which in this case is hello layer let's go to compilation see if we have uh, any problems with this so everything builds okay install hopefully it will install now and you should be seeing hello world here we go so we see hello world right we just push it on our device we can see hello world hello world is kind of uh, aligned to the uh, left hand side 
we do want it to be aligned uh, at center so we can always do that layer set and you have this uh, set text alignment very simple and you can pass in the hello layer and then this will be well how did I end up over there here we go so this will be G text alignment center okay one thing that should be really good is that if I just want to have like a shortcut key to build install and run that will be nice to have and here we go so we get our um, hello world now displayed in the center of the screen so that's pretty much it I mean you can see it's uh, the interface or the API is quite intuitive and uh, cloud pebble allows you to quickly start developing for uh, the pebble smartwatch um, once again you do have to download that uh, iOS the beta app to get the developer mode because I did notice that in the previous version there was no developer mode uh, option to enable which is of course required um, to push you know to push it on onto the smartwatch anyway so that's pretty much it um, and that's yeah that's the video um, one thing I like to mention is that these videos especially the pebble they take uh, awfully a long time to produce and I, I think you can agree with that and um, I've been uh, adding videos uh, quite a lot lately and uh, any donations you want to you, you want to make towards the channel are uh, highly appreciated and um, you know it will it will help for the future videos so if you do uh, want to give donations you can just uh, you know use the uh, the donation link and all that uh, to to make the donation so that's pretty much it uh, I hope you like this uh, video and stay tuned for more thank you very much